In the first few weeks, the $28 million film grossed only $804,000. Francis Coppola decided to pull the film out of distribution. One from the Heart is a 1982 film directed by Francis Ford Coppola. You know, when I first See met you, I thought, this is not the guy for me. No way. The director of the Godfather trilogy, Apocalypse Now, the film stars Frederick Forrest, Terry Gower, Roald Julia, Natasha Kinski, and Harry Dean Stanton. I thought Natasha Kinski was great in it. That's Klaus Kinski's daughter. The story is about Hank and Franny. They're in a relationship, but it seems to fall apart a little bit. They end up going their own separate ways, and they both find separate lovers on the side. Can't you see this is breaking my heart now, Hank? Is there any way We've been saying goodbye for years, honey. There's not a lot going on with the plot, but it's more about the tapestry of the film in terms of the art design, the set design, the production design, the musical numbers, uh, the relationship between uh, Hank and Franny. It's like Frank and Annie. It's a romance film etched in fantasy, drama, musical numbers. I was trying to figure out why it wasn't a commercial success and why it was such a box office bomb. And to tell you the truth, I'm quite stunned. It's a decent film. Francis Ford Coppola had acquired Zoetrope Studios. One from the Heart occupied pretty much every inch of Hollywood General Studios and an airport set built in a parking lot. One from the Heart was one of the first films that they produced there. You know, while I was watching it, I was aware that it was somewhat Fellini-esque in terms of its theatrical production. And I ended up watching a making of documentary on the movie. And I noticed that you see in one of the scenes that Francis Ford Coppola has the layout of the lot there and he has Federico Fellini Lane and Nino Rota Lane who was Fellini's composer and then he also has Akira Kurosawa Lane so you can tell he is heavily influenced by Federico Fellini who I think is a you know, master filmmaker so that's why I enjoyed the film myself I think I actually appreciated the style and the art form that Coppola was trying to put across but unfortunately it wasn't a success every time I walk by here I look at your window and I say to myself what am I doing in this place? Why am I not there? The production design and the set design is amazing. My feeling is that my own work, certainly, and a lot of, uh, and some of the work of other people that I know, is moving more into the area uh, where you can really control the elements of, uh, of the drama. Some of the lighting that's used to enhance certain scenes just really adds to the whole flair of the production. I want to operate in a kind of new kind of cinema that's more, that's a more theatrical cinema and be able to control the elements of the film. I'm watching this on Laserdisc and I thoroughly enjoyed the look of it. And just recently there's been a 4K restoration uh, Blu-ray released. This time it's really goodbye. Bye Hank. Which I'm, I'm gonna have to get. And I saw that, so it must look great on 4K Blu-ray. Even just watching it on the Laserdisc, it was good enough. But instead I, I wanna live. She's with that guy, isn't she? Francis Ford Coppola told Tom Waits that he wanted him to write all the music before the filming began. I was so insecure when I started, I had no idea that I would be capable of writing an entire score to a major motion picture. Especially working for Francis, I was sweating bullets. So Tom Waits basically wrote a full album of songs, which Francis Ford Coppola then turned into a script around the songs. Which is an interesting way to, to make a film. That's why the plot is, I guess, very minimal. Relationship breakup between two people based in the city of Las Vegas. You know, I'm a huge fan of Tom Waits, but by society, I think the music in the film is great. Tom Waits worked with a, a huge orchestra. I don't believe the downfall of the film had anything to do with Tom Waits' music. The musical numbers in the film really helped to drive the story along. It's very jazz-esque and it really helps to, uh, you know, inhabit these two characters in the world and fleshes out their relationship. And then I started to love you. Which was nice. All non-union workers on Francis Ford Coppola's financially troubled $23 million epic One from the Heart agreed in a meeting tonight to take a 50% pay cut to give the movie a chance at completion. You know, is it about true love, which is what Hank and Franny have, or is it about their fantasy loves, which they both go on the side with? Uh, you know, do they go with that or do they does true love bring them back together again? That's basically the, the summary of the, the film. At the moment it's only got 50% on Rotten Tomatoes. But the film had been mortally wounded by all of the bad press and premature reviews. But maybe it's going to be one of those films that people might appreciate over the years to come and appreciate what Francis Ford Coppola was trying to do with the film.
Filmmaker Francis Ford Coppola, who has been associated with some of the motion picture industry's biggest winners, is in need of cash right now, so he has put his Zoetrope studio up for sale. I'm going to give it four out of five stars. When you're trying to do something truly unusual and from your heart, and you're trying to reach everybody, you always run the, the risk of someone looking at it quickly and saying, well, you know, I don't care for that, just like a picture you might see or some food that you you, know, you don't uh, like the first time. And then after a while, the picture becomes more beautiful to you or the food like raw fish, which you hated the idea about later on you, uh, you enjoy and think, well, this is wonderful. This is sashimi, you know? Let us know if you've seen one from the heart. Let us know your thoughts on it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. This is James signing off from the Home Video Channel. I think it's partly taking risks like this to create some excitement. You may not have been excited, but maybe someone else was. I don't know, but it was something.